Remember when they hate me? Didn't think we made it? Not everything they used to look at me. Remember when I called you? And you didn't fall through. Now you in your face. y'all I so what are we getting into today so today we're about to be taking out the turbo coupe we're about to go have some fun man we're about to go get some runs in I was literally about to swap to a bigger turbo on this thing you know I can see it right there I set this all up last night so I was like today I'm gonna come in here and I'm about to put the big John on here you guys remember I went and dyno this thing. We made some pretty good numbers. And then I was just like, ah, I know we can get a little more. We were having back pressure issues because the turbo is a little on the small side, but we're already in that realm of the rumor, the myth, the legendary 5.0 block split in territory as far as power goes. So in a sense of a stock block 5.0, it's kind of impressive, but in the grand scheme of all the other cars and stuff that I have, I'm just like, yeah. So I, I wanted to turn this thing up a little bit more, but today we're actually gonna be taking it out. We're gonna be getting some fun runs in. I haven't ran this car really since I retuned it. So I'm interested in seeing like what it, what it will do. We're probably gonna get gapped all day today, but we're going out there to have fun. Uh, one of my homies, he's, I think he just picked up a new BMW. I know he has a Hellcat. I'm not sure if he's bringing his Hellcat. I think his friend has a twin turbo uh, G or something. Not really sure, but stay in room, go out, have some fun. And I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm probably gonna get walked by everything, but we'll see. It'll be a good comparison, man, to see what this thing does against other cars that probably all make more horsepower than it, but I got the power to wait. It makes torque, it spools quick, so. I wanna see, if it does good today, maybe I won't swap the bigger turbo. But if I just get gaps put on me, then we're gonna be swapping the, the turbo. I bought it because I wanted to swap it, so we'll see. But today we got some fun, man. I know you guys are gonna enjoy it today. So let me clear all this shit out right here so I can actually get the car out. I should take the, man, nah. Cause then I won't get testing. But I was like, I said, should take the Viper. The Viper makes more power than this. I think it'll be a, better candidate but we'll leave that alone i know i gotta move the c5 move it over man i should be i should go out there and play the bully and <laughs> take out the c6 bro it look like it's gonna rain Hmm, it says it ain't supposed to rain today. Maybe when we get to Mexico, the, the sky will be clear though. All right, we got this stuff moved out the way. Should be enough room to pull this fox out. I definitely need to put up these wheels. She just need to go in the shed. It's starting to rain? Bruh. It is. thermostats open and this thing is fully warmed up and then we'll be out and I there it is right there all warmed up Never fail. 
else. Every time I drive this car with no windshield wipers, I always get stuck in the rain. Granted, we ceramic coated the windshield, so it is doable, I can see, but I really hope when we get to Mexico, man, it's not raining, because it's gonna be a waste of a day for sure. Nice, right, looking like we do got some clear skies over here. We cleared up a lot. All right, man, we just getting here to Mexico. Ooh, got my guy pulling up. My guy pulling up in the Bezemer. <laughs> man, what's cracking, my boy? Long time no see. I know it's been a minute. What's good with you, bro? <laughs> man, where the bike at, man? Right, okay, that home, bro. That shit down bad right now. <laughs> no, I was telling him, bring the Hellcat. This is clean. When you pick this up? Shit, Saturday. So a week with it already. So you got rid of the uh, the G, or you still got it? Yeah, I still got that one. I sold the supercharger, so I'm trying to go mid mount now. Okay, you're trying to you're trying to make some real power. Yeah. <laughs> How much you pick it up for? This one, sixty three. Sixty three. Ooh. So you gonna do that, what's that shit? GB9, whatever, fuck fresh, all them niggas be doing, the BMW niggas? GB9, YB4A, whatever fuck they be doing? Yeah, JB4. It's clean. Look, he even got the carbon jammies. I like it, I like it. Stock of shit. All stock. These motherfuckers run though. Pretty quick or what it is. How much do these make stock? Uh, I mean, you search it up, it says like 480 wheel around there. Oh, then we, we, we're right about the same. This makes four, this made 470, 490 torque. The dude with the uh, twin turbo car coming? He was on his way from Water Creek, but. That nigga hell in the far. Yeah, because he lives in uh, Bay Point. M3 Com G80. That's clean. That was dirty. <laughs> I mean, we. It's clean for what it is. You a young nigga too. How old are you? 21. 21, yeah, you young nigga. So you know he in the cartel doing some illegal shit. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> clean, clean. Cool little thumbnail right here. I'm uh, Aaron right next to me too. Who, Black Aaron? <laughs> He's getting better on the corner. I was about to swap the turbo last night. For real? Yeah, but I was like, I'm gonna see what this shit does, how it is. Woo! Small, little baby turbo. It's like 14 pounds, it's maxed out. That's why I wanted to put the bigger turbo on here because it's had, we tried to run 17 pounds and it just had a hella back pressure. So we ended up stopping uh, 470, 490 torque. We made more power with less boost. We're having hella back pressure on the, uh, on the exhaust housing. So it'll be, it'll be good to see like how this shit does, honestly. Yeah, I haven't raced in this one. This will be my, this will be my first run with the, with the new tune. It's my first run, just in general. I haven't run in it. Let's go ahead and get rid of that G, man. You can't, you don't, you don't even need the G no more. You got this. I need both. <laughs> nah, this will, a couple little bolt-ons. This will be out on that G, hella bad. I told him already, but he wants to switch over. Oh, my fresh kick shit. All right, let's see what this thing does. All right, here we go. Get ready to have some fun. This should be a good run. We're relatively close in power. He has the gearing. I have the power to wait. Open the cutout.
man. Carbon buckets. Oh, Ooh. God. God damn. I mean, I fit though. They're a little, little tight on the on the love yeah. handles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, were you driving with your seat back like this? <laughs> nah, I just put it back for you. <laughs> you got the gangster lane. <laughs> <laughs> Try getting up. Nigga, this suck. That's the hard part. Nigga, I struggle getting out. God damn. Cool. This is shit that, that shit catch your balls, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I can feel it. Yeah, I don't like those. They nice, but. How are the back seats, man? That looks like It's for skinny people. Stiff as hell. So he said his boy's bringing the M6. It's cool. At the shop still. Waiting to get the T56 swapped in. Yeah, yeah. So just waiting for it to come back. Well, I've been waiting for that SC also, bro. Yeah, SC's done. Yeah. I just ain't dropped the video yet. What's good with you, bro? This thing's clean. That's my old one. I saw this it's crashed at me. He backed it too. <laughs> These niggas crashing all the beamers. <laughs> What's good, bro? Man, he call, he called you out for some runs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a full car on the side. This shit slammed. Yeah, I bought it up here, actually. That's what he was saying. Yeah. How much these make? Uh, right now, stage two. Uh, it's supposed to be like high 600s. Oh yeah. 680. But they can only handle like 700, I think, a wheel. It's and clean. Transmission goes, and then you gotta upgrade. And he about to put a big gap on both of us. Hell no. Nah, Damn. Know. That shit hooks. Gap and hooks. Well, hopefully, hopefully he spin. <laughs> you spin hella bad though. Yeah. Good. Hey, Mike, if I just go two lanes away, you got motherfucker get. We're going to put you in the middle. I should bring the 360. Oh my God. You want one of them? Hey, so we one and one. I got one. He got one. And then we're going to try with the, the M6. Hopefully, hopefully the M6 spin give us a traction advantage. <laughs> Alright bro, we've been sitting here stuck in traffic. You can see the air intake temps right here. Manifold air temps are extremely high. So the car's a little on the heat soak side. But once we get on the freeway and start driving, it should clear up the, uh, or cool it off a bit. to get some air getting over the front of this radiator and intercooler.
chop it up with the fellas. Nice little day of some fun runs in Mexico. Wait. Yeah. Nah, you you definitely had me on top end. Like we had more room. You was about the oh, real me. That's what this car is all about. Well, I want to see how it goes once it's actually set up. Hmm. It's, it's just the way he bought it so far. I got all parts laying at home. So working on trying to get some. It's just nice. Like I don't I don't even want to say because I wasn't even looking. But I was <laughs> I was spinning the like, out. I heard that shit. I was like, ah oh, man, this shit's some hell of nasty back there. And it was it was hard to stage because. I'm trying to brake boost off the hydro. So it's like when I start brake boosting, it starts, yeah, I'm holding it. So it starts kind of like pulling it forward. I know, I'm trying to brake boost. I'm kind of new to racing. I mean, I'm, I just got into it because these are like this car. Probably the, I don't, and I don't have the uh, mile per hour. It only has like the tax. So oh. I don't know what mile per hour we're at. Yeah. We're at 60 though. Yeah, time. we're about like 50, 60. Okay. Seems like you want to do a 40, huh? Huh? He wanted to do a 40. Hell no. <laughs> he was like slowing me down. I'm like, nah, nigga. <laughs> I know, hell no. I mean, look at the tire. The tire's bald. You gotta, he on nah, this definitely, this definitely has the top end. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. That's what they're all about. It's not that size. This other tire. Nigga, you got one bald tire? One bald tire. Dude, right out the swing, that shit. Dude. Nah, because that's the used tire, remember, <laughs> that we bought. He doing, he doing donuts in one direction. One direction. <laughs> it, it actually do. All right, man, we're about to be off to the hood. Definitely a fun little day today. It's always, always good chilling with the little homie. Man, what do y'all think, man? Should I swap the other turbo on? Should I leave this one on here? Like the car ain't. Hell no, no donuts, bruh. <laughs> He's like swing it, like nah, we ain't doing that. But yeah, nah, uh, car feels good. Feels good. It makes decent power. It's not the fastest, but I mean, it it hangs and puts in a little work, man. Think. 
it's at a good point where it's reliable. Like, don't get me wrong, it's fun. Like, the power comes on super, super fast. Like, there's no lag with this setup. Uh, it's not overpowering the tire, so it has grip from third, fourth, and fifth. So I'm like, if I change it, now am I gonna be blowing off the tires? But my tuner was saying that I shouldn't lose any low end spool up just because currently this turbo, the exhaust housing is too small. They don't offer anything bigger. And it'll be essentially like upgrading my exhaust going from the 67 mil to the 73 mil. Like this has a big AR on it. Um, man, he was saying it, my, my car would probably be safer with the bigger turbo. He was like, it just comes on so fast down low that like you, we almost don't even really need a, a higher limiter. Like it starts to fall off at like 5,800 RPM. So it's making freaking power like super quick, which is fun on the street. Like you give me a fifth gear, you can just get on it. RPMs come back up super quick. It makes all the cool noises when you rev it. So it's definitely a hard decision. Do I chase the number? Throw that on there. I could easily make an extra, probably 200 horsepower with the exact combo that I have. I have enough fuel, I have enough injectors. I just don't have a big enough turbo right now. So what do y'all think, man? Leave it, send it. This little turbo has been putting in work. What to do, what to do, what to do. I literally bought that turbo for this car. Same brand turbo, just bigger. This is the same size turbo that I run on my SE. I used to run this turbo on my uh, truck before I upgraded it. So it's efficient, but my SE runs the Garrett version. It runs the real version. I don't know. Let me move this out get this thing back in the garage and I'm gonna sleep on it, I guess.